For many of us, spring is the time we turn our attention to refreshing our homes. But when it comes to interior design, it's all about striking a balance between reflecting your own personal taste, what styles and trends are available in store to buy, and of course, your budget. Here to reveal how we can create the dream home you've always wanted without breaking the bank is Idle Homes Deputy Editor Jane Akers. Welcome to the show, Jane. Thank you very much. You know, I'm going to start with saying I love Idle Home magazine. Oh, that's fab. I do. Thanks. I read it religiously and it's my bedtime reading. I literally, I'm in bed at night just before I go to sleep. I have a little flick through and then I start thinking, oh, I want to change this in my home. I want to change that in my home. Oh, that's so great to know. I'm so glad you're a fan. I love it. So what should you consider when you're changing rooms in your home? What are the key things? Well, say, for example, if you were going to do like a spring refresh or something like that. Which is what I want to do right now. OK, all right. So one of the things you could do is maybe repaint the room, give it a fresh coat of paint. You know, don't underestimate what a massive change that will make. Um, another thing you can do is you can change throws on your sofas, you know, like the heavy winter throws, and you can change them for lighter ones, maybe inject a bit of floral pattern in there. Um, also change cushions. Oh, I'm a big cushion fan. Yeah, I love cushions as The well. thing is, I get so attached to my cushions that I find it hard to lose them to get new ones. You but you should really, more. shouldn't you? Exactly, add more. <laughs> <laughs> Put them in your bedroom or change them, change them to another room. But I'm looking around, and for me, I can see a nod to sort of tribal prints. Is that big? Absolutely. That's a trend that we're seeing a lot of this year. It's quite a monochromatic scheme, but there's lots of um, neutral, um, natural elements in there, like charcoal and taupe colours and woods and things like that too. And um, if you have a look at these cushions here, um, the, the patterns are geometric and there's also lots of ikats there too. But can we do, say, tribal prints in the bedroom? Does it work in a bedroom? Yeah, absolutely. Bed linen, maybe sort of tropical leaf prints or things like that. But don't forget when you're using lots of pattern like that, you kind of need to keep it, you need to calm it down too. Um, so maybe throw in a lovely cream throw, plain throw with a bit of fringing, which is also good for this look too. So just try and mix it up a little bit. And yeah, then going absolutely. into other rooms in the house, can we maybe take the tribal theme into the kitchen? Yeah, absolutely. Part of the tribal theme is being quite rustic and having lots of natural materials which really work well in a kitchen. Say for example you've got lots of wood on the worktops and shelving and then you want to bring in some lovely crockery with an artisanal feel. The pattern is like the geometric pattern, it's a monochrome scheme, really beautiful. I love that set, it's really, so really nice. nice. Yeah. Right, I'm going to put your expertise to work now Jane. As you can see we're already channeling the tribal theme right here in our lounge. Now the challenge now yep. is to add some finishing touch OK, so we're going to start with cushions, all right? So there are these cushions with this lovely safari animal print on them. And I wouldn't go too crazy with things like this. This is just great for adding a finishing touch. So, for example, if you've got a plain cushion, you can pair that with something like this. Oh, nice. There I like go. that effect, because it's not too much. Exactly, and it adds a bit of fun. It really brings your sofa to life. And also, you mentioned that having throws on your bed and everything. Can Do you like throws on a sofa? Because I do. Oh, absolutely. I mean... As far as I'm concerned, a sofa is totally bare without a throw. So we've got this, for example. This See, is... I love this. Oh See, my now God, this, this ties in with the cushion. It does. This is so cosy. It is really, really nice. This screams of cuddling up on the sofa yep. watching a movie. So what you want to do is you want to throw it over the back and then in the evening when you're snuggled up and watching the TV, you just pull it off and there you go. Right, I've got a coffee table at home and my coffee table is completely bare. I'd like to... I'd like to put something on there that would tie in with everything you're showing me. What can I use? Absolutely. So you want to go for one key statement piece. And I've got here this really cute um, elephant object. It's so sweet. It's a lovely carving. And it's on top of a couple of books. It looks really sweet. So what you would like do that. is pop it like this in the centre of your coffee table. Perfect, you like the way it's all tying in. Right, what about the shelves? Because I've got shelves in my home. Yeah, me too. And you know what? I actually never know what to put on them or how to change them. I love dressing shelves. OK, so you can help me. OK. Right? So to inject a bit more of a tribal theme to this shelving unit, I'm going to swap two pieces. I'm going to... Do you want me to take that? Yeah, take that. I'm going to change that for this lovely wooden vase. So natural materials are really key to this look. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pop that there. Um, then next, Denise, could you just pass yes. me that cheese plant there? there so you we've go. got two. So I'm going to swap this with this lovely LED um, lantern here. And this is great. It's also got the rope detailing as well. And it's an LED candle, so it will just keep on 
Keep going, keep and it's going. safe as well exactly. if you've got young children. Exactly. I always so have LED go. lanterns and candles now. There you go. Do you know, Jane, I think that looks fantastic. Glad you like Loving it. Loving your work there. Right, what about our walls? How can we dress our walls? Right, I've got this lovely macrame wall hanging over here. Do you want me to hang it? Go on, you right, hang it. Right, go on then. You hang I it. I love being your assistant. <laughs> <laughs> I love having you as my assistant. Um, yeah, so this is like a revive trend. It used to be really big in the 70s. It kind of injects a bit of a boho vibe. So macrame actually means fringing, and it's like a knotting technique to make it, but it makes lovely decorative hanging pieces like this, wall hangings, or um, there, there's lovely plant, hanging plant macrame pieces that you can use. As well. Jane, I love this. You've given me some great ideas. Thank you I'm so pleased. much.